Hi everybody. So, uh, you know, I wanted to do a little video of my, you know, my current experiences and my predictions of the Chevy Bolt EV's fast charging curve and capabilities. So, I've gathered a lot of data in the last few months. I've, I've put about 12,000 miles on my Chevy Bolt EV and I've used the, the current existing DC fast charging uh, infrastructure quite extensively so most of this data I've been able to verify through my personal experiences and my driving and I decided to collect it all and sort of calculate out what the Volt EVs charging curve should look like so at the top you'll notice under the volts that they're highlighted in yellow these are ones that I actually have visual confirmation of the voltages though the voltages do seem to vary from station to station and it looks like as, as much as a one or two percent variance in in the voltage which will affect the overall charging rate uh, which is why which could explain why some people have experienced higher charging rates and some have experienced lower charging rates but again the variance should only be uh, it should be fairly small and uh, the, the amperages right now, what I have currently listed on the screen is the, the fastest currently available uh, charging stations for the Bolt EV, at least public charging stations available. So right now, if you go out driving in the United States, the fastest you're going to encounter is 125 amp service, which some people believe is the maximum amperage that the Bolt EV will accept. I personally disagree with that. I, I think it, it could accept more. And even if it can't, uh, the Bolt EV can uh, take advantage of faster chargers because it, from my experience, it can uh, accept additional power from the charger to go to battery conditioning and climate control that wouldn't be registered on these charge rates. And from what I've observed that should be as much as 20 to 25 amps of additional power that it can accept from this um, from the charging station that wouldn't be counted as part of the charge rate so even with all of this the Bolt EV's effective charge rate will be even faster than what's listed on here uh, based on my personal experiences because it's not stealing uh, charge rate from the battery if there's an you know if there's an excess of power um, coming from the station so right now just based on this data what you can expect if you go to a 125 amp station say you magically appear there with zero percent battery uh, you're going to have an average charge rate of about 39 you know about 40 kilowatts uh, up to 80 percent so that's that accounts for the hour and 15 hour and 20 minutes right now that you would see uh, if you pulled up to a DC fast charging station to charge up to 80 percent. Um, another way I validated this information is I've done charging sessions like under ideal conditions where the 25 to 55 or the 20 to tw uh, 55 percent state of charge averaged a rate of about 45 kilowatts so these numbers do coincide they are fairly close and given the current infrastructure this is the charge curve that you can expect now on top of this though I've set up some equations in this sheet so that we'll be able to rapidly update and you know be able to uh, adjust these numbers with new data and if someone can find a faster charge rate um, charger will be able to to see exactly how that affects the Bolt EV's uh, charge curve and you know you can strategize from there so one thing I wanted to point out is a lot of the stations right now are still a hundred amp if you show up to a hundred amp station uh, this is actually what your charge curve would look like it's much slower uh, average to 80 percent um, it's a you know it's a very basic uh, curve that you know isn't going to get you a whole lot now if you uh, you know if we start to play around with the numbers a little bit uh, we can kind of get a better idea so we know this is a minimum of 125 amps but you know some people have said well they did say 80 kilowatts in the 
VoltDB owner's manual, well, that could mean 400 volts by 200 amps, so that would be a 200 amp station. Well, I personally don't think this is what you'll see, but if you did, this is what the curve would look like. Uh, now, Tesla Bjorn out in Norway had tested a Hyundai Ionic EV on a 100 kilowatt charge station and the peak power that the, the Hyundai Ionic received was very similar to this. So um, if the Bolt EV were to have as much as 200 amps, um, I, and like I said, I doubt it because the way, they, the way they stated it, I think they were also taking into account the additional power that the Bolt EV could take for climate control and battery conditioning. Uh, you would see a peak rate of about 70 kilowatts, which is what uh, Tesla Bjorn had, uh, had observed. Personally, I think the peak is probably 175 amps, and that goes into saying, in, in keeping with what I was saying about it will steal additional power that's available. So if you go to an 80 kilowatt station that has 200 amp service, you're going to be able to put 175 amps into your battery while um, using the other 25 amps of, of current to run things like climate control and battery conditioning. But to me, this drop-off also does not make sense. Uh, it seems a little too rapid, a little too early. What does that mean? Personally, I, my prediction is that you're going to see 175 down to 150 amp drop-off and it, it makes a little bit more of a, uh, the curve makes a little bit more, more sense. It, I suppose it could be 175 amps all the way up to the drop off, but again, that, that seems a little odd to me and it, and it seems to exceed a little too much uh, what GM has, has stated about having a peak charge rate of 60 kilowatts. Now they do have a tendency to understate things, so they say, yeah, a peak of 60 kilowatts when actually it's something like 64 kilowatts. So I suppose this is a possibility. Um, but the other thing is, too, look at what this is doing to the average uh, charge to 80%. So 80% of the Bolt EV's battery, uh, which is a 60 kilowatt hour battery, is 48 kilowatt hours. So if you do... Uh, 48, or if you do 51 uh, kilowatts here as an average rate, it means you're going to go from zero to 80% in about an hour, which also coincides with their information about uh, about how it, and this was predating the EPA numbers, so they were saying the Bolt will have a 200 miles of range and you'll get 160 miles in one hour. Well, 160 is 80% of 200 miles, which would be about 48 kilowatt hours. So if you'll notice, this would put that time at a little bit under um, an hour. And so again, yes, they understate, but personally, I don't think that's realistic. I think there's something else where either it steps down to maybe 150, which would put it much closer to that one hour to 80%. Uh, and, and maybe even a more conservative estimate is, oh, maybe it just starts out at 150, and, and, but that, again, given their, their penchant for understatement, means that it would take a little bit more than an hour. So I think there is there would be something else going on there where it's probably 175 amps, uh, stepping down to maybe 150 amps, and you're going to see something close to this rate. Um, which is cool because that's actually going to be much faster than what we're currently experiencing on the 125 amp max stations um, and it means that we're going to start seeing those numbers that GM promised where you're going to get 90 to 100 miles in 30 minutes and then all of a sudden you're going to get another uh, you know up to 160 180 miles in based on EPA numbers anyway um, in an hour so this is kind of what I'm, I'm picturing the charge curve to be right now. And, and notice again, yes, it comes back very close to that, you know, it's 62 kilowatts. But again, there's some variance here because I'm doing these in a 5% state of charge uh, gradation. So 
there, there'll be a little bit of play here. Um, it'll probably maybe be a little bit slower than this, but, um, but I could see this being very close to what you could expect. Uh, the other reason, and, and maybe, you know, maybe this is just reading too much into it, sometimes I wonder if maybe GM didn't li do a little bit of an Easter egg with their, uh, their Milford Proving Grounds video where they show the Bolt EV being plugged into a 175 amp uh, DC fast charger. But, you know, and maybe that actually gives more credence to saying, oh, well, that's the excess charge. So really, yeah, they're saying you're going to see 150. And, and like I said, that's, that's possible. Um, it, it just seems a little bit slower than what they were saying. But, you know, who knows? And it, but it's still going to be very close to about an hour to 80%. The good thing about this is I've already programmed this in, so when we do get more data, when we actually finally do get to test the Bolt EV out on faster chargers, we're going to be able to, to, to see a little bit better um, what this charge curve looks like for sure, and you'll be able to plan your trips a little bit better, plan your stops a little bit better, and you know have a better idea of how fast you can recoup mileage. So I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say, uh, what you, you know, if you've seen any or observed anything different. Again, this isn't like 100% precise, but it's very close. I would say it's about 90 to 95% there. Um, we were just missing some additional data. And like I said, for me personally, this is my prediction of what we're going to see the charge curve look like. It's a little bit less aggressive than something like the Hyundai Ionic. But again, you can take additional power from the, uh, the charging stations, so really the effective rate is going to be much faster than that, right? If you count battery conditioning and climate control, the effective rate would look something more like, you know, this, where you're actually getting this much power out of the station, which, uh, you know, actually puts it much closer to something like you'd expect out of a Tesla early on, especially the Model S60. So, again, um, like I said, I'm curious what you guys are seeing, or, you know, what you've seen, what you feel uh, the max charge rate is, uh, if you feel it's it's actually already at that with 125 amp, or if we can maybe expect a little bit more. All right, guys, thank you.